Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Let's play Castlevania Symphony of the Night Part 9. Okay, that was a major lag spike. But at least we get to save the game now. Just to get that out of the way. The sooner we get out of the chapel, the better. Luckily, there's not much else to find here. So we can pretty much go straight to the exit. Other options were probably making the recording window a little bit smaller, but that would make the quality look really bad, and I don't want to do that to you guys to make the game look all blurry. It would just be terrible. So I might as well get that weapon and get the hell out of here. Oh, the cutlass. Should I equip it? Yes. Yes, I should. Oh my god. We're finally out of the chapel. It's a miracle. It feels a lot better. See? Doesn't this feel a lot more relaxing? Oh, I see the leap stone. Gotta get it. Gotta get it right now. I must have the ability to double jump! Might as well fill up on some parts. Yeah, at least the lag here ain't so bad. Nowhere near as bad as the chapter. Not even close. I might as well go through this door. At least register the uh, teleporter. Oh, there we're done. We're done. Let's go this way. Potato salad? I know you're out here watching this, so you stay with me. Lift! A very, very slow lift. So, shall we get the leap stone? You bet your ass. Feels good to finally double jump, which you're gonna see later in a minute. Take out those flea riders, because they're gonna piss you off. Yeah, you guys are more fun on me than Hell's Angels. Yes! The ability to double jump! I love it! Hmm, needs more meat. In a wall. It ain't Castlevania food until it's caught in a wall. Really grainy. And rocky, too. But we're pretty much done this area anyway. Can't really do much in the castle keep yet. Hmm, the tear thing. Uh, I'll stick with what I got because the tear thing is a dark weapon, and I don't like using dark weapons on dark enemies. Makes no sense. At least I think the tear thing is a. Yeah, it is. It's cursed. I'm better off not using it. It would just cause a lot of problems. Problems that I do not need. Ah, we're back at this area. Back at the outer wall. And I've gotten a lot of comments from my fans that you can actually can get the jewel knuckles through that area I was waiting on. And I'll show you how soon enough. Actually, I'm gonna show you now. Once I get there, just gonna be a bit of timing and patience, of course. But sadly, no teleport. I just used up all the teleport. Ah, upgrade. Hmm, should I go a bit lower? Yes, I should. Oh, before I do, let's crack open that guys. Get a garnet. I can pawn off that ring. 
seeing as how Dumbledore runs a pawn shop, too. You're back! When did the armor come back? Come on. Stop that! Don't make me wait. There! Apparently what I was supposed to do, I was supposed to wait here for a few seconds. Waiting. Then waiting. And waiting. And waiting. Oh! I actually was not expecting that. It almost frightened the shit out of me. But now I got the mirror curious and the uh the jewel knuckles. The knuckle cure is not a good idea, just in case you're running against enemies that petrify you all the time, then you can use it. But until then, it doesn't have good defense. So you're better off leaving that alone. Now let's make our way back to the library. Seeing as how we can double jump, we can reach new areas. Let's go. Save the game. Now it's gonna be a little while yet till I get to the library, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm back. Right now I'm at the spot almost right near where you see the librarian. Now that you can use the leaf stone, you can get to this area. Pretty cool, right? I save the game again just for the hell of it. But you know, I'm gonna use this time to thank you guys so much for putting up with the uh, lag there, lag spikes and everything. Cause like some people don't tolerate it, but you guys really put up with it. So you guys have my greatest respect. Especially my loyal fans who put up with this. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna go up here. Uh, can I get up there? Uh, I wanna use that flea man, but that's rather not. Oh, that 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 trick would work. Oh well, I'm not in a hurry to get there anyway. I'll try that later. Damn flea man. Stop fronting on me. Yeah, but off footage I decided to like buy a magic scroll so I could get another spell, which is a summon spirit. When I get a chance, I'll show you in a minute. But not yet. I forgot what the combination is. Okay, um... Uh... I think I can figure that out. There it is. So Alucard lets out this giant fart, which does a lot of mayhem. Now here's a little thing with that lesser demon there. This is the only one that summons the Mud Man, which you would need to fill up your bestiary, or bestiary, what do you want to call it. But since I don't care about it, I'm not going to bother with it. This guy is pretty easy. See? Told ya, I clipped its wings, just like that. Before it got to summon a monster. Apparently he's a Yu-Gi-Oh fanboy. So let's go into the deeper reaches of the library and get what light you deserve. Uh, do I want the stop clock? Nah. I need the stop clock for something, but not here. It's like a Mitsu, an Onyx, and a Frankfurter. But since I don't have the Mist ability, I can't get what's behind there. So I'll have to come back here a little later. Oh well. 
At least we took care of a boss. Well, technically a mid-boss, but you get the idea. Not much else we can really do here, right? So let's get out of here. No! Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here! I'm gonna get out of here! I'm gonna get out of here! Yes! So let's save the game and I'm gonna call it a part of a let's play. See ya!